When treating seeds, there are several best practices to follow in order to get the most out of your seed treatment, which in turn gives the grower the results he expects. In today's seed treatment environment, it's common to apply many products which can result in higher slurry rates. So before each application, always homogenize the product or slurry by recirculating and maintaining constant agitation. Slurry amounts vary depending on the type of seed being treated. At Syngenta Seed Care, we suggest slurry ranges for the following crops. For soybeans, we recommend four to seven fluid ounces per hundredweight. For wheat, we recommend 10 to 16 fluid ounces per hundredweight. And our recommendation for corn is 15 to 30 fluid ounces per hundredweight. Running above or below those ranges could lead to several operational challenges such as uneven product distribution, sticky or wet seeds, bridging or clumping of seeds, excess product buildup on the treater and post-treating equipment, poor seed flowability and plantability, and reduced productivity due to cleaning downtime. But there are several techniques you can use to minimize these challenges. Calculate your slurry amount based on the crop and seed size to make sure your target rate is correct. Reduce the amount of water or additives when your volume is above the suggested application range. Run your treater at 70 to 80 percent seed capacity so you'll get better chemical distribution and drying inside the mixing drum. If seeds are coming out of the treater too wet, you might consider using a fan, a drop-down ladder, or dry additives to help the drying process. Always condition seed to room temperature before treating to avoid sweating and reduce surface moisture. And finally, always treat when temperatures are above freezing and in low relative humidity conditions. Because there are many additives, polymers, colorants, inoculants, and micronutrients available on the market, make sure you test their compatibility on a small scale before you mix a large batch. And to avoid application issues, never carry over slurries for more than two days. As you might expect, you can maintain your system's accuracy throughout the treating season by performing regular preventative maintenance, such as changing pump hoses, cleaning chemical lines and pump filters, as well as the atomizing chamber and drum. And one last, but very important point, make sure your operators are trained and that they thoroughly read product labels follow guidelines for PPE use and best stewardship practices. All that information, as well as recipe calculation or recommendations, information on chemical storage and handling, equipment calibration, and much more, are located on the Seed Care Resource Center website.